What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and you're looking at the brand new GL MV1000 Broom Edge Computing Gateway from GLINet. This is about $129. Check my link down below if you're interested in picking it up. But this is a great solution for those of you that want to add a little open VPN in your life or a little wire guard in your life, and you don't want to change your router, you don't want to go through a lot of hassle, you just want something simple to hook up. Well, let me tell you, the Broom Gateway is definitely a very simple plug-and-play solution for everybody. So if you're looking to get VPN support for your whole home, your whole office, or maybe you want WireGuard support for your home or office, this is a way to do it without really changing a lot of other equipment in your office or home. But let's get into it, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. This is a great solution again for those of you that want something in-house, in-office versus something like a travel router. I can highly recommend the Slate router if you're looking for a Wi-Fi solution while you're on the go, if you're looking to protect yourself while you're on the go, because if you take a look at these two, they pretty much look very, very similar. They look, almost look identical other than the USB-C port on the Broom Edge gateway versus the micro USB on the slate router over here and of course the broom gateway does not have Wi-Fi So if you want Wi-Fi with this you're gonna have to connect it in front of say a repeater or connect some other solution to it to get Wi-Fi But still this is a great option to get super fast speeds Which I'm gonna get into in just a second and if you don't yet have a VPN You can check out TorGuard and use code JabberTech. I'll leave the link down in my description below You can get a free trial and you get 50% off for life so for only a few dollars a month, you'll be able to protect yourself. You'll be able to download files without getting those letters from your ISP. If you've ever gotten one of those letters, you definitely know what I'm talking about. And let me know down in the comments below. But this is a beast of an edge computing gateway when compared to the Slate router. The Slate router is very cool, but it is intended to be a travel router. This guy over here, this broom router, is going to give you about 97 megabits down when you're using OpenVPN. And if you're using WireGuard, you're going to get about 280 down, and that's absolutely fast. That's a lot faster than my ASUS 5300 right now that I have at home. That I'm only getting about 40 down, and once I connected this in front of it and used this as my actual router, I actually doubled that, almost two and a half timed it to about 100 down. I'll show you all those speeds a bit later. But if we take a look at the box here, some of the key specifications. Open WRT, you have high-speed VPN, which is what I just talked about. We also get eight gigabytes of storage in here and why that's something you might want to consider. If you like tinkering with things, if you like Linux, you can actually install the Ubuntu image right onto the broom itself. So if you want to play around, maybe you want to set up a pie hole server. What that is, it basically is your own server to block ads and whatnot. You can actually do that and you can play with it. I might play with that and do a separate video if enough people are interested in it. But that's really cool about this. You get eight gigabytes of storage in here. You also get three gigabit ports, although one of them will be used for a WAN solution and the other two are available as your LAN. Support up to 128 gigabytes of micro SD and it still is very very travel friendly So even if you pick this up and you're going somewhere you can still throw this in your bag You just have to figure out a way to connect Wi-Fi to it Maybe in the future they'll give us a product like this and include Wi-Fi Here's to hoping that would be the ultimate in GLI net tech But just taking a look at the overall device It's a very small very portable device that I actually placed right before my router and it is something that you can hide It is something that you can put right next to your modem if you wanted to and then just run an Ethernet cable to your router You can do whatever you need to do Let me know down in the comments below how you've actually hooked this up I'd be actually curious to know on the side here you have a button you can either turn on open VPN or turn on WireGuard or flip the switch and turn it off because we don't always need WireGuard on or OpenVPN on. Although you can make policy rules, which I'll get into a bit later. There's your power on off. Here's your three gigabit ports. You have a USB port right over here. So you can connect something like a 4G modem to it if you want to, or a pen drive that you can use to share files to, or download directly to your pen drive from the broom itself. USB-C charging is huge. I'm happy to see USB-C making an appearance on a lot of products. And there's your micro SD slot right on the side. This is everything that you get in the box. Of course, you get the little device itself. You get your AC wart. You also get your flat ethernet cable. And the cool thing about it is this is a USB-C powered device right over there. And just for fun, if you take a look at it versus the Slate router, basically is the same form factor. It definitely looks pretty much the same to me. Slate router, 
does have Wi-Fi and the broom router does not have Wi-Fi. But the main difference is what's inside. The main difference is that this is really beefed up in terms of specs versus something like the slate router because again this is a travel router and this one is intended to be at your home but it's a very nice very cool looking product let's get into the setup i'm going to tell you more about it but looking at the settings of the gli net broom router this is what you can see so you can see i am connected i have my vpn check mark right over there again i am using torguard but it's a nice interface it really just shows you what's going on it shows you that i'm using a cable right now and I have one device connected. On the bottom here, you'll see all of your IP information and whatnot. And you can also plug in a 4G modem if you want to, or you can tether from your phone if your phone supports that, and you can get internet access that way. If you go into clients, you see every device that's connected here. And what I like about it is it gives you full control. So if you wanna block, say, your kids from using the internet, they've been watching a little too much YouTube, you can just go in and block them and then unblock them when you want. And also, if you notice that your internet's a bit slow because someone's hogging up all the bandwidth, just go ahead and set some policy rules, set some quality of service rules, and you can limit the access to each specific device. So again, if your kids are downloading too much or whatever, you can limit them to a 10 megabit connection or upload speed, whatever the case may be. But I like the options here, and it's a, a lot more configurable than, say, a regular router from an ISP where you can't do anything. I always recommend that you just leave auto upgrade on. This way, whenever there's a new update out, it's just gonna automatically push it to your device. You can set port forwards and you can set a DMZ host. It's a fully functional router is what I'm trying to tell you guys. So if you don't have a fully functional router, again, I wanted to look at Google Wi-Fi, but it just wasn't, just wasn't powerful enough in terms of what I can do. So if you plug this broom router right in front of your Google Wi-Fi device, you'll get a lot more options than you would otherwise. I also recommend TorGuard because it's super easy to get the configuration file that you need for this broom router and basically any other OpenVPN software. All you do is choose your correct device on the top. You choose which server you want to connect to, click generate config, and it's automatically going to download it right to your desktop or your download folders. And that's why it's super simple for anyone to use TorGuard. There's no real way that you can mess up. All you got to do is download the configuration file upload it directly to the broom and you can see it's all set and ready to go. Just give it a name and then type in your credentials and it's as simple as using the config tool, uploading and you'll have OpenVPN access and then you're good to go. Everything's gonna be routed through your VPN. Very easy, easy peasy as they say. So TorGuard with the GLN routers makes it super, super simple. Now, if you wanna create your own server, you can do so here. The only thing about creating your own OpenVPN or WireGuard server you cannot connect to a client either with OpenVPN or with WireGuard, meaning if you want a server, that's the only thing you can do. You cannot have a client and a server running at the same time. Now for WireGuard access, it's a little bit more, I'm not gonna say tricky, but there's a few more steps involved. Again, go into your TorGuard access panel, click on enable WireGuard access, and then find the server that you wanna to select to. You're gonna click on download config file, and for this one, you actually have to open up that config file within your browser so that you can copy and paste it. You will not be able to upload that config file. You do have to copy and paste. So all you have to do is say, add new WireGuard client. Go ahead and give it a name, whatever name you want to give it. Once you give it the name, go into your browser and then open up that config file that was just downloaded. Once you open up that config file, just copy paste it right into the broom router itself and you'll be good to go it's still super super easy there's no no advanced steps needed it's just a copy and paste vpn policies is super cool this way if you don't want every single device on your network to use the vpn you can just create a policy for it and have it go directly to your isp this is very useful if you want your b-link gt king pro or your nvidia shield to use your vpn for obvious reasons but you want your laptop, you want your desktop to go directly through your ISP, you can do that. File sharing access is also important. That means if you connect the SD card to it, you can download directly to the broom itself from your browser, and then you can share those files basically with anyone that connects to it. So it is useful for file sharing, remote access via cloud management, and it is a decent way to kind of see what's going on with your router. So if you enable it, it is a free service from what I can tell. If you enable it, you'll be able to see basically a lot of things about your router once you're connected to this cloud service. 
You have some more settings as well. So I just want to show you the custom DNS server. For DNS, you can put your own DNS server if you want to. I'm using AdGuard's AdBlock server personally, but you can use DNS over TLS if you want to. It's just a little bit more secure. Whatever you want to do, you can do. Button settings, that's that little button on the side. You can have it to turn on or off WireGuard or OpenVPN. This way, if you just want to quickly turn off your OpenVPN, you can do so. And then you can also use the broom gateway in a bridge mode if you want to. If you don't want to use it as a router, just go ahead and configure it into bridge mode. And that's basically it for all of the settings. It's a very simple, very easy to use gateway. The WireGuard access speeds are really, really good. I'm getting about 110 down. And usually without any sort of VPN access, I get 200 at home. And that's a huge improvement from, say, using something like the travel router where I only got about 30. So again, guys, this is intended to be your home router. Just to do another open VPN test, getting about 49, 50, 52. So it ranges from about 35 to about, on the highest was about 57. So really, I use WireGuard just about every single day. That's a lot faster. And it's just something that if you're using this as a home gateway, you want faster speeds for everyone to connect to. And here's just a speed test without connecting to anything. It's 200. So again, about half down for WireGuard and half of that for OpenVPN. It's still a lot faster than what I get on my actual Asus router. So at the end of the day, I can highly recommend the Broom Edge Computing Gateway for somebody that wants faster speeds from their VPN service. I think my router is pretty good, the Asus AC5300, but of course, VPN access is a little bit slow and WireGuard access is non-existent. So for me, this is a great way to just speed up my VPN speeds and add WireGuard support. It might also be a great way for those of you that have a mesh network set up, such as Google Wi-Fi, or maybe you have an ISP supplied router and you just want more functionality from it. You just want to be able to add VPN. You just want to be able to set those policy rules. This is a great way to do it. But let me know if you have any questions or comments down in the section below. I always appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.